All right, so it's called my chicken door version one, no longer working. The uh, spring keeps tension on the rope so that it grips the, the spindle that turns and sometimes the string gets knotted up and it blows the fuse and this and that. So I'm gonna change this door. I'll make it go vertical. I should have done that a long time ago. That and junk gets in the track. So, I have a few buttons down here. I have a open and close or auto switch. Let's go ahead and open. I also have a run in a test mode and in run mode, here's the light sensor. In run mode it takes 10 or 15 minutes for after the light sensor reaches a threshold for it to close or open the door. In test mode it only takes about 10 seconds that way you can test a thing and make sure everything's working. So we have solar panel, power, charging the battery, gray wires for uh, limit switches, here's the wires to my motor. So the solar panel comes in and there's a solar charger. You have to have a, a solar charger to maintain the battery otherwise the solar panel will ruin the battery. And we're fusing the power going to my circuit. These are my limit switches coming in. This is a $10 Arduino clone board. Um, if I had to do it again, I would do the uh, Arduino, the SparkFun Arduino Nano, which is like 20 bucks. And the reason I do that is because it has its own power supply. So I had to build a voltage regulator circuit here. Um, to supply the Arduino with 5 volts. Then coming off the output, I'm running two transistors which run these relays. These relays will switch the motor one way or the other. Of course there's a diode on the relays uh, in reverse so that whenever the relay sends a spike, the di diode will intercept it before it blows out your Arduino. Those LEDs are indicate which, which motor is running, which direction the motor is running for testing. Alright, so here's the inside. I just made a track for this board. Then I installed some limit switches. My program is set to only run for about 10 seconds anyway just in case but you know if the limit switches go out it, it it'll cause some trouble but maybe it won't burn it up but there's a close limit and then the open limit and up here I have a little motor the easier way to do this would be if you had an old drill It'd be pretty pretty simple to make the same exact setup get an old drill, might even leave the chuck in it and then get a pipe. This is actually just 3 8 inch stainless steel tubing but any kind of uh, thing would work there. We'll open. See how good a job I did on this motor. <laughs> 